right, we are back and my veining has dried. It is actually the next day, so before I go back to painting, I gotta wipe down the parts again with rubbing alcohol or acetone. I keep rubbing alcohol in a container like this that you can just buy at Walmart. And it's so handy because then you can take your sponge and you push it down and it's ready to go and wipe them off. Here I wanted to show you, this is the paint that we did yesterday in the veins. Watch. It peels right out. So that means, of course, our babies are hardened too. I got the sun working against me right now, so we'll have to bear with that. I will come back as soon as I get all my pieces wiped down. Okay, now we are ready to start our painting. We're going to work on creases first. Um, so we're going to take equal parts of A and B again into my open well here. B is actually thicker than A, so always remember that. I like to do that first because B seems to hold its shape a little bit better. All right, like that. Like you can't see very well, but there's two equal dots in there. And then I'm going to add a little bit of thinner. Like that. And now here are the three colors I use a lot of. I use, I have this brown, I have this maroon color, and then we have the nude peach. I always start with peach. You take your toothpick, you get a little bit of color, and you mix it on in. I mean, did you see how little bit of pigment I actually put in here and it's quite dark? That's okay. These are going to be for creases. I don't know if you can see that color there. The sun, the sun! Now the important thing to remember is once you've stuck this toothpick in your paint, it cannot go back in the pigment. Then you'd be contaminating that. So what I do is I flip it over and I use the other side for my next color. I take a little bit of this maroon and I mix it right in there with the other colors. use my hand for the camera and my hand for the painting so this is a little difficult all right see the consistency there that's perfect I think here and it's a nice color I could do a little darker but I can always go over this again later on to match my skin tone that I end up doing all right now for the creases Use any kind of brush that you like, whatever you're comfortable with. And the, as far as creases, I mean the eyes, the inside of the nose, around the outside of the nose, the lips, the mouth, the ears, the neck creases, we got the hands, all the little creases. I'm going to go through and do all of that, and then I'll be right back and show you what we've come up with. Okay, I want to show you, um, I've started painting this one. I'm doing the creases and small areas with that um, mixture I made. Oh, I can't get a good color of the sun here. See, it's kind of a maroon, skin maroon color. Start from the outside of the limb and work to the inside. Unlike vinyl, silicone is very flexible, so if you start out here, how are you going to hold on to this while you're trying to paint the floppy fingers? So work your way in like that. Okay, you can just see that it's real light. Silicone's shiny, so you can see where you've painted as you go. I've only done the creases. I haven't, I haven't done like this main area here. But it's very subtle. You don't want to do anything too drastic. The key is less is more. And it's starting to come to life. I'll show you the rest when they're done. Okay, I'm back, and now we are done with our creases. You can see I've got lips, eyes, ears. Notice the toothpicks in the mouth. If you are painting a doll that has an open mouth and you are painting the inside, if you don't prop it open like this, it will seal itself shut. So that's what's with my Walrus babies. They have their mouth propped open with toothpicks. I've got the hands. Notice how it's very light. It's just very subtle creases are done but definitely will be worth it. Now you gotta let these guys sit for 20 or so minutes. 
and you know repeat the process over again for the next stage you're going to do modeling you're going to probably do the similar colors to your crease um, you remember making little small batches because you can always make more you don't want to be wasteful with your ingredients because they are quite pricey for modeling and skin I use a makeup sponge normal one of these here and I pluck the end so that it's kind of got a texture now the modeling layer is the only one that I use the texture for but I do use this to smooth on and I can go over it quite a bit and you won't see the modeled look that's just for the last step all right after this I'll let these guys dry we'll come back and we'll do some skin tone blend in these areas that aren't filled in this is probably one of my favorite steps because it totally makes the baby come together all right guys see you in a bit okay here I am I have done the blending the first layer of skin you can see that the creases and the rest of the skin are nicely blend together I did use my sponge that I pulled the little chunks out of but I went over it enough that it's blended in you can see it's not modeled maybe a little bit on the head where I did it on purpose but and that's what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna go through all the parts you can see the color on the base where it started compared to the skin with that one layer I'm gonna go through and do the rest of the parts and then I'm gonna let them dry for about an hour because this is a lot of paint here and I just want to make sure it's really you know cured well and like I said you can always check your paint in the tray and feel if that's hardened all the way through then your doll probably is as well I'll be back to show you um, all the rest of the parts when I'm done all right I'm back and I've done my first layer on all my parts you can kind of see the contrast from the top and the bottom where it's painted I've got my faces here um, I thought I would uh, do a little video of my technique on this belly plate because it lays flat and I can hold my phone with one hand and my sponge with the other what I do is I use my modeling sponge I get just very barely a little tiny bit of paint on there and then I use these upside down uh, dishes for blotting my paint out I don't use a paper towel unless I have totally excessive a lot of paint on there otherwise you risk picking up fuzzies and a big thing to do is as you paint look for fuzzies and hairs and if you see them pull them off before you paint now you can see this area here that I've already painted and this is the area that I haven't painted I will show you say I was gonna go through and do modeling that's how I would leave it so that you could see the speckled modeling but I'm not doing that on this first layer so you'll see me just really work that paint in and spread it out a lot of paint or I mean a little paint goes a long way I spread it out as far as I can you can see I don't have any modeled look going on anymore I mean it's not one solid color but it's more natural and more blended I spread that out as far as I can you don't want heavy blobs of paint on your baby because then it'll um, have risk of peeling the thicker the paint is the easier it is to peel off all right nice looking sometimes I can just pick up the paint again off that I will at the end go over and do a little bit of modeling to leave that splotchy newborn skin but that'll be my absolute last step this here is just bringing some depth and some color out of the skin and you can see how nice I don't know if you can see it on the video the veins come out a little bit once you add some skin color on there now someone had asked me once when drying and curing your paint can you just use a heat gun or a heat source to quicken the curing time or the drying time like you can with vinyl dolls well to set this paint you, you don't it's not a heat set paint this is actually 
silicone itself, not just paint, and it has to cure and harden. If you heat up silicone, it closes and seals up all the natural pores that are in this material. You need those pores and um, creases and different things open in order to accept the paint and to let it adhere easier. So if you add a heat element, you seal up all those